Hello Bees Bladers! Welcome back and welcome newcomers to the channel. I hope you're having a fantastic day. And if you're not, just stick around. I'm sure I'll do something st stupid or silly or forget my words. You know, words are hard. But we are going to check out a new Migron knife and I'm excited about this one. Are you ready to get in here? We're going to go through in quick and orderly like fashion and check this bad boy out. Comes with nice uh, packaging and it has some troll candy. Now I've had the pleasure of checking out some Miguron and M8 knives. They're both the same company, but then two different levels of premiumness. And I know this one comes in premium models. This is the budget model. This is the Miguron Pagos. Would you look at it? Just look at it and all of its pagoness. And you know, first thing I see is yes, we're gonna have a reversible, ooh, oh, okay. <laughs> I, I was not expecting that. It's a reversible clip, but it's a milled titanium clip. Now I'm digging that. That's some awesomeness right there. So, okay, all right, that threw me off, <laughs> that threw me off guard. I was like, all right, it's a budget version. Okay, so you that that is very nice. You have a captive pivot, and it looks like we're a front flipper, and ooh, yeah, it has some good jimping for your front flipping, and if you're not a big front flipper fan, you do have some generous thumb studs. Check those out. Those are pretty sweet. They look like miniature barrels. I'm liking that. So here's this side, and before we open it, let me see if I can give you a little bit of texture vision, if I can find the proper lighting. There's a little bit of texture for you, and how does it feel? The texture, oh yeah, it feels good. It is very grippy. You ready to see this blade? Pow, right in the kisser. Oh, very, very nice. So you have kind of a flat back blade here with a, you know, I didn't notice that fuller. Are we gonna be able to use that fuller to open it? We'll find out here in just a second. Very nice looking blade, 14C, 28 in, baby. And it has plenty of belly. This is your classic, classic straight back looking. And you know, and it, that looks like a straight back to me. Correct me if I'm wrong. I don't mind being corrected all day long. And you have plenty, plenty of oh, room in this generous toil for a little bit of sharpening action. It is a liner lock. It has good lockup. And are we centered? Let's take a look. Yes, we are centered. And it has a nice, strong tip. You gotta have a strong tip so the action is good on it. Needs a little, needs a little working in. I like the sound. I like that tink. And let's check out. The factory edge while we're jumping all around here. Oh my goodness. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Look at that. Now this comes very, very, very sharp right out of the box. Oh yeah. Swing. And I do know that these bad boys do have cage ceramic ball bearings. So if you were wondering, there's your answer to that. So our length is coming in right at about 7.4 inches. And then our sharpened length's coming right in at about 3.2 inches. So you have 3.2 inches of sharpened length to work with. It has a very nice finish on it. How about the fit? Left and right is solid. Up and down is absolutely solid. And let's see what it looks like next to the QSP Penguin. So if you have a QSP Penguin and you like the size of that, check it out. It's like the opposite blade shapes. It's one go, one goes one direction and one goes the other. I like it. But this, this right here, I use the QSP Penguin if you're new to the channel. And by the way, if you're new, you'll want to subscribe so you don't miss up what's coming up next on Bees Blades. Plus, every Friday night, Bees Blades, live at the hive. Oh, right. 8.15 to around midnight every Friday night. We have a blast. We have a knife cam. We do size comparisons, all kinds of fun stuff. But I digress. So here's what it looks like next to the Penguin. It's a little larger. So if the Penguin is on the small side, you do have have some more length and a little more girth, <laughs> a little more girth and a little more cutting length. Now the size of my hand is four inches from here to here, three and a half from here to here, and from the bottom of my palm to the tip of my middle finger is seven and a quarter, and let's see how she feels. Oh yeah, like a glove, feels very nice. I can't even feel that pipe, that pocket clip, that titanium, <laughs> the new titanium pocket clip. I know what you want. It feels very good. This is gonna be a great everyday carry knife. A great user, a great carry, a great EDC knife. Oh my goodness, I'm liking it. I really like it. Migaron is very impressive. Everything they come out with. Now let's see how this, oh yeah, look at that. So the index flip is very comfortable. It has such good jimping. It's easy for all you front flippers. You like to Front flip, this is going to be fantastic for you. And I do like that it has multiple ways. Now, can we reverse flick it? That's the question. 
Yes. So we can, you're going to be able to flick and flick and flip until <laughs> your heart's content. Oh yeah. And then sometimes actually use it to cut something. And I almost forgot to, can we use, okay. Yeah. That fuller, it disappears down in there. So that's going to be more for, for aesthetics. You're not going to be able to use it for any flipping or flipping or flippage, but yes. And the pass through is very comfortable. My hand just glides in there. I don't have to push. I don't have to dig my thumb. So, you know, that's always a major selling point for me is how easy it is to disengage and that is like butter. I don't remember how much these cost. I remember I saw them way back when it showed up, but I don't remember. But so I will have a link in the comments. I always put the link in the top comments in the comment section and in the description of the video. So you can go and check out and see what the prices are and see what the different, I'm sure there's many different color options and there's probably a couple different blade options too. And I do know these come in premium versions. And the last time I looked, and it depends on when you're watching this video too. But the last time I looked, the premium versions were sold out. But you know, anytime they sell out that the knife makers are like, oh, hurry up, make some more guys. We got to get them out there. So I hope you enjoyed checking out the Migron Pagos with me. Let me know what you think about it. Leave a comment down there. And if you don't have an opinion about the knife, well, let me know what you had for breakfast. And don't forget to share this video with a friend that likes knives and EDC gear. And if you have it, don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss what's coming up next. Speaking of what's coming up, have you checked out this video? I think you'll really like that. And until I see you at the high stream on Friday nights or in the chats or in the comments, remember, live life in the present, keep a band-aid handy, and don't cut yourself.